idea since she doesn't make it to me. Look, okay. oh, look at that. That is a, I'm not kidding. I wish I had a scale right now. It's at least 30 pounds of eggs. We're going to have some fun today, right? Yeah! yeah! Oh, we got a mini crowd, but really this is the fun. I got a snake right here that uh, is sitting on some eggs. Now that could be easy, could be complicated. We'll find out in about 20 seconds. Oh, it's a big snake and lots of eggs. We got one without any war. You're wondering what the war is all about, right? It's real simple. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I want these eggs to all survive. She wants them all to survive. Unfortunately, I can't speak snake and ease good enough for her to completely understand this snake isn't actually very social, we'll say. We'll just say she has a tendency of being a handful without it. Oh, yeah, like I said, she has a tendency of being a handful without any eggs. The crowd's being quiet over there. <laughs> Come on. So the idea is that I'm gonna try to get her to wear out herself a little bit without bleeding, without sacrificing any more than a little bit of blowing off my fear. Now, I don't really have fear of the snake. I could grab her, wrangle her, but that'd be kind of rude, right? I mean, she's so supposed to care about animals. I try to, I try to negotiate with her a little bit. It's kind of like, it's kind of like marriage. It ain't always easy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she's so she's winding up for the right now. She could almost make it to me. Now the idea is that she doesn't make it to me. Okay. 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 Good part is she's giving me she's giving me more warning than she really feels completely threatened. Yeah. Now, yeah. Yeah. You guys better be careful over there. Okay. Here we go. Come on. Bro. Well, come on, Tim. How many eggs? Look at that. Look at all these eggs. Oh, there's a lot of eggs. Now, so far, I'm, I'm so far, I'm pretty good. Come on, girl. Oh, Come on, girl. That's an egg of yours. We gotta protect that egg too. Come on, because we're on the same team. Here we go, here we go, here we go. So, the idea is to steal these eggs away. Oh, oh. I'm gonna have to take them in two clumps. Look at this. So I'm getting lucky, because she doesn't know what's going on right now, because she's so busy being angry. Oh, look at that. Oh, and that's, is that wild, you guys? Amazing. Wow. <laughs> Look at the amount of eggs there are there. Then I don't have a moving target. Look at that. That is a, I'm not kidding. I wish I had a scale right now. It's at least 30 pounds of eggs. It doesn't look like 30 pounds, but I know what 30 pounds feels like. She's still over here. She's trying to sneak around to get me. We got one infertile egg. We're going to feed that to a monitor when we're done. Now, we, the reason why we know this is infertile, whoa, she's, so there's a difference. Got pointy ends. Slightly discolored. This egg's rolled around, but I could see it had a attached egg there, but it's a flat spot there, but that flat spot's from an egg. That flat spot's probably, I'm gonna go with this flat spot being the flat spot. And each one of these eggs are already babies that are, guess how old the babies are in here? Two months. Oh, two months, that's actually really close. Man, these eggs are pro approximately 54 to 56 days old since they were fertilized. The reason why I know the exact date, because they're shelled, about 56 days ago and obviously they didn't get fertilized after this one didn't get fertilized this one did that being said they got 84 days left to go look at that good egg or bad egg probably both this is never going to have anything to do with the egg it's a, it's an outside piece but about 80 percent of these hatch when the things are ideal because it's a fertile egg with an infertile corner but I can see veins in there, so things are looking hopeful for that. You see that one? It's got paper on the bottom, so we know that one's got to stand straight up because the baby floats to the top while, after the, the eggs are laid. These were egg, laid yesterday at about 8 p.m. This one got rolled around, but boom, there we go. We got a flat edge, egg on the top, stuck. Can I get her put away? Because I still got to get her put away. Oh. And she's still got a handful. The good news is, she would protect these eggs for 84 days and be super aggressive the whole 84 days. She'll calm down, turn back to her normal self, which isn't super sweet, but she won't be intensely trying to defend herself. Okay, come on, girl. Oh, oh, oh. That was closer than I expected. That time she should have had the length that she did and she used it, she sprung beyond her spring. Okay, so. Yeah, and like I said, this particular snake isn't the sweetest snake in the whole world in the first place. Some of the snakes, after I get the eggs away, within 10 minutes, they turn back to their loving self. Not this one. So, that being said, like I said, her loving self isn't that loving. She has a careful snake that we have to work with a little bit. She's a mochino. Uh, what is she bred to, Tim? A mochino sunflower. 
Oh, wow. So she's gonna have Phantom, Motley, Mochino, Sunfires, Platinum, and, and Mochas. Now I got a problem. Want to lift that up out there? We got a little help out there. There we go. Now the trick to handling a, a very grumpy snake. Maybe I got the trick. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. So she is like a weapon right now. That is her barrel. Oh. Come on, girl. Whoa. Whoa. Getting big and heavy. You might bite my leg, unfortunately. But usually if you don't give them a target. Tim, wanna take the box? Okay. Because she's gonna act, she's starting to act a little bit more like a normal snake. Okay. So when a normal snake's grumpy, what I do is I turn away. So if she turns towards me, I turn away and keep her pointed away. That being said, this one's not very mellow, but we're gonna count those eggs. How many eggs you think there is? Okay, so here we go. Okay, first you can pass around this one. Cause it's infertile. Oh my gosh. <laughs> here, you can feel it squeezy. Now how many eggs do we got? Come on in here guys, let's see how many we got. Now, you see how they're all stuck together? Oh, they're all stuck together? I've got a Tim. Tim's over there wrestling the snake. And uh, wrestling cause it's so heavy. There you go, see that? So now, the reason why they're stuck together is because they can't roll around. Remember how we had to make sure they're upright? So each one of these eggs has an embryo sitting up at the top. The idea is that I take it apart and then I can get the eggs to go back in here. Cause you see this, we can't put the top on, right? So, but I gotta still keep, make sure that top is top and I gotta keep all these the same direction. Tim's getting old on us. Oh, mm -hmm. so am I. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> They'll make you either strong or hurt you. One of the two. I'm gonna say we have 65. 50? 5? 55. I'm, I'm, I'm realizing the eggs are smaller than I expected. And so I added, plus that box right there already had over 20 in it, 45. That being said, I can't count that infertile egg because we have a joke around here that can't count, which can't keep. It's kind of like fishing. So I'm gonna keep popping these out and let's see how many eggs we got. So I'm gonna, it looks like I'm doing this fast because I've done it before. So, and I like the eggs tight in the box. We're gonna see, cause I think we have, I think we're gonna have about, yeah, at least what I said. Tim's pretty good at counting. You took, got your socks off? <laughs> 34. 34. This box is starting to starting to look like I was hoping it would look. Yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna say it's more. I'm gonna say it's more. What are you guys thinking? 55. 55. Okay. 75. Huh? <laughs> 75. 55. I can already tell you, we're gonna pass that 60 mark. So here we go. 34. 36. 38. 4. 46. 48. 50, 52, 63. Wow. 63, unless Tim made a mistake. I doubt he did. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 26, 28, 34. Tim is still as smart as he always has been. There we go. So we got 60 what? 63 perfect eggs. I thought we were gonna have 65 after I saw them. So 84 days, and I hope to see you guys then. And uh, what do you guys think? Is this cool or what? What do you guys, living the dream? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well we're living the dream. No matter what you're doing, make sure that you're living the dream. I don't know what that looks like for you. It might be crazy, something way more crazy like a motorcycle. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Anyway, you go live your dream. Make sure you have a good time and don't listen to anybody that doesn't say it's a good dream because it's your dream. Peace out.